the treats this morning. We are digging into a holiday favorite red velvet cake, but this time it comes with a unique twist showing us how to make it is Chef April Anderson, co-owner of Good Cakes and Bakes. Thank Hello. you for being here. Thank you. So a lot of people might be surprised to hear about this twist. Tell us what it is. So we use a, um, a, a roasted beet um, powder that we concentrate with a vinegar. Wow. Because um, in the original recipe, that's how red velvet was made with shredded um, beets. It wasn't food coloring at ah, first, it was shredded beets. So that's where the red color originally came, came from. from. Correct. Very, very cool. Okay, so we are in luck because for people that maybe don't know how to go about making this cake, but so enjoy it during the holidays, you're gonna show us really quickly yes, how to do definitely. it. So walk us through it. So to start off, we put the sugar in, and this recipe, along with like a chocolate cake or something like that, uses oil instead of butter. Okay. And it's, don't worry about the specific measurements because we, we're going to put, put this recipe online for everybody. So then you just turn that on and you let it go. And while that's going, I would do the eggs and the vinegar, I mean, the vanilla we put inside of the eggs. Okay. So while that's going, we'll put the eggs in. Now, is it important to, you think it's good for it to mix as you add things in versus adding things and then mixing? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to. So when, when you use a stand mixer, it's, you can add without turning the mixer off. It's just when you like adding flour to it, then you have to be a little um, cautious with it because if not, the flour would like shoot up yeah. in your face. Okay. And so at this point, when we, when we put the eggs in, now we, so this is nothing but beet powder with vinegar. And so wow. we would just put this in okay. and let that go with that. And while that's doing that, we would mix in here we have flour, kosher and salt, and unsweetened cocoa. Unsweetened cocoa. Yes. What do you think it is about red velvet cake that people love so much? We were talking about this and you you said that you this is actually not your favorite dessert, no, not your go-to, but no. what do you think people love about it so much? They, I think people love it some people love it because of the chocolateness of it, yes. but other people love it because of the, the tanginess that you get mm. from a velvet cake. And what makes it tangy is when the buttermilk and the vinegar interacts. Yeah. Um, that's absolutely. how you get that tanginess. And so like you have the, kind of the fad now is to do different color velvet cakes, so you'll see a blue velvet cake. Ooh. But what makes it, the only thing that makes the cake velvet is the vinegar and the buttermilk together. Very good. Oh my goodness. So while and, that's mixing, yeah, go now ahead. we're going to add the flour in three parts. So we'll add a little bit of flour. Yeah. And then we'll let that mix up for a second, and then we'll add half of the milk. And is this regular milk or buttermilk? Oh, I'm sorry, this is buttermilk. Oh, yeah, buttermilk. So you okay. use, we use a whole fat buttermilk. So the good stuff. Yes, the good so, stuff, basically. Whole, yes, whole fats. And, and what would you say, uh, you know, just getting some tips for people, when we talk about eggs, uh, room temperature versus just pulling them out of the fridge, does it matter? Yes, so you would want to definitely use room temperature eggs. Really, you want to use room temperature all of your ingredients, um, because if you don't, like if you put egg, cold eggs inside of your butter and your sugar, while butter and sugar is made to cream so that you can put air in, into your product, right? Yeah. So you add that cold egg to it, now you're going to make your, you're going to seed your, your sugar and butter um, and now it's going to be curdling. So now you're just taking out all of that air that you just put into the into that mix. You just you just took it out. What about butter? I've seen some people actually take the butter out and let it get to room temperature before yes. using it. Is that that's, the best way to do that? That's the best way to do it. Only because again, you want to be able to make sure that whatever product you're making is light and fluffy, and sure. it, you have to cream the air into it. So you do that. And another thing is, is that when you put the cold butter in there, you can use cold butter. You just have to mix it longer. What about a pan? I know uh, you would normally put this into a pan, uh, one of those dark, like ceramic color pans, or is that what you would go with? So or? we use light pans at the, at the bakery. Okay. Only because um, using a light pan, um, two things is, is that it allows the heat to evenly um, circulate through the pan. Well, if you use a dark pan, you might get a hot spot as well as it might cook it faster. Mm, so we always use light tips. pans, and you get that also if you use a glass pan. Very good so tips. You, and, and, and I, we are running out of time, that's okay. why I want to move so, you along, because I want people to know, so we do this, we bake this at 350. 350 for 35 to 47 there you minutes. Go. And we'll put the details, of course, on WXYZ.com, but really quickly, tell us where you're located. Uh, you're on Livernoy, We're right? on Livernoy, on the Avenue of Fashion, but for the next six and a half weeks, we are going to be part of the downtown Detroit market, so we're inside the Snow Dome Globes, inside of the Spirit of Detroit Plaza. That is so exciting. Yes. So for those people who are looking for something to do on, on, weekend, on the we're, weekends? We're there doing the week two. They're, 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 they're going to be braving the cold, maybe not today, but in a few days, like Denise yes. said, when the temperatures <laughs> yes, really exactly. dip, they're going to be out there. So go out there, have some cakes and goodies and, and keep them warm, of course. And again, we'll put the website, we'll put the recipe on the website, WXYZ.com. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.